Hi, I'm Iris Sokol, ergonomic consultant for All Seating, and I'm here to show you the inertia chair. The inertia is a very simple chair that offers a lot of great features and great support. So let me show you how to make the adjustments on this chair. We're going to begin with the seat height. To adjust the seat height, you want to raise this middle lever and bring the seat height so that your feet are flat on the floor and your knees are in line with your hips. The next adjustment in the back is the back angle. To change the angle of the back, lift the paddle up while putting your weight on the back of the chair until you get the desired angle and then release the paddle to lock into place. There's a tension control on this back angle. Underneath the front of your chair is a knob and by turning that knob will adjust how much tension the back angle has on the chair. The next adjustment is the infinite tilt lock and that's the paddle all the way up on the front. To adjust the recline angle, you wanna pull the paddle up to unlock recline to the desired position, and then push the paddle down to lock it into place. You also have a forward seat angle adjustment on this chair. You want to unlock your infinite tilt lock and then turn this knob to adjust your seat angle and then lock your infinite tilt lock back into place. This gives you a slight forward tilt position which can help eliminate pressure on the knees and the legs offers better circulation to your lower extremities. We'll go to the other side and you have a paddle here that allows you to adjust the depth of your seat. To adjust the depth of your seat, you wanna pull the seat out far enough so you have about a fist distance between the back of your knee and the edge of the chair. And this gives you the best support for your leg. So having a seat pan that allows you to make an adjustment is a great feature on a chair. The other adjustment on this chair are the armrests. They go up and down, and you want to have your armrests low enough so that if you're using them, your shoulders stay totally relaxed. The last adjustment on the chair is the height of your back. You adjust that by raising it all the way up, dropping it all the way back down, and then it will click into place. And you want to put it in the spot that the curve in this back matches the curve in your lower back which really gives you great support.